What was that? My phone! No! Are you kidding me? So I am here to do another rustic road. We're on Rustic Road 52, um, near Cedarburg area, I believe. So this is Washington County, Newburgh, I guess. We're near the Cedarburg Bog State Natural Area. That's where it is. So I am going to officially get picture first and foremost to make sure we were here. You guys are along with me for the ride here. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna look at a little cutie and the sign. Make sure it's validated. The reason I have to do this is so I am trying to earn my certificate. So I am, I think is this 15? Number 16 maybe? 16 Rustic Road. And so in order to get your certificate, you have to ride 25 of them. My personal goal actually is to complete all 120 of them. So yeah. Interesting. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna look at the route map quick. No, I don't want that. Nope. And my Senna's going crazy. All right, we're just gonna put this back in here. And so, let's try this out. Apparently, it is 6.7 miles. So, let's go and ride. We got a biker coming up too. cruising down that hill um so yeah i want to complete all 120 of them i don't think i'm gonna do all of them this year it would be super cool if i did but i just need time to do it and i have very limited time so i'm taking off on a midweek and just trying to get some of these ones in the southeast part of the state and I just need to follow the rustic road signs. Sometimes they're marked, sometimes they're not marked. And so you have to really either know the route that you're taking or study ahead of time. So I'm going to turn on Blue Goose, Blue Goose Road. <laughs> and this is gonna take us more into the bog area, which is kind of fun to see. So some of the rustic roads that I ride are paved, some of them are gravel. I have never ridden on a dirt road yet. I'm sure I will run into them eventually, but um, for the most part, they've been pretty nice. Some of the ones that I did last year did have gravel and there was new gravel too. So it was, oops, I did not need to be that in low of the gear. It was a challenge. So in order to be a rustic road here in Wisconsin, you have to, it has to be at least two miles long and not very trafficked. So some of these roads you're gonna see are pretty harsh, but I think it, I like the challenge. I trying to find them. Oh, so here we go. We got gravel. Alrighty. Na, 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 na. Test my skills. I don't think I could do this on a bigger bike either. <sighs> I don't know. Like I know for sure I know how to pick up my Sportster. So if all else fails, I know I won't. But if I have to, I feel comfortable that I could do that. But if it was any other bigger bike, I'm not entirely sure I would want to. I'm sure the adrenaline would kick in and I'd be able to do it, but I'd rather not take that risk. So I thought about riding the fat boy today too, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Oh man. Nice and easy Whitney, nice and easy. I love doing these rustic roads too for the fact that I wouldn't have a reason 
to ride them otherwise and so just seeing different parts of the state that you normally wouldn't ride to you get to know these back roads and I'm like thankful for that too because you can find some really cool ones that almost feel like a true secret so you go from pretty much newly paved roads to gravel road instantly which is awesome thankfully we're on paved roads now a couple of fun hills but I think back there was the actual like bog area so Cedarburg bog natural state area maybe I'm not sure sorry <laughs> But yeah, tell me, have you guys ever taken your bike on the gravel road? Would you? Would you ride one of these ones too? Holy crap. <laughs> My helmet on. <laughs> Felt like it fell off. But would you guys ride them? I'm curious to know. Half the time I go in, oh that's a really cool, looks like an older house too. Half the time I go into these rustic roads, not quite knowing exactly what the route's gonna be, but I like like doing it that way because it's kind of more an adventure. It feels like you're on a treasure hunt almost. Uh, oh, that looks so cool. Turning. single end of the road because it just means more like awareness to the road so if people are riding these back roads they know that there is a rustic road near them or wherever they are my opinion but it's really hard I'm sure to keep update updated and everything else so we'll ride this portion again and head up to that paradise one and we'll call it a day. I am going to try that second rustic road in Washington County. I think that one is like 12 or 13 miles. So, oh shit, this is the one I needed. Oh gosh. Too busy talking, not paying attention. Where am I at? First gear. But I think I want to do that one too before I have to head home for for the day. I don't know. Overall, it was good. Another one to check off the list. Another one that brings me closer to completing all of these Wisconsin Rustic Roads. So, heck yeah. <laughs> we got some twisties. Or at least that's what the sign says. <laughs> Hello friends, how are you? Just hanging out for the day. Oh, this one is cool. Save the best for last. Definitely more on the rustic side for this route. but still super fun. I think this is my favorite portion of the ride so far. Glad I'm finally able to do all of this at this point in time too. What was that? Something hit me, but I don't know what it was. And I have everything in my pockets. Oh, my phone! No! Are you kidding me? All right. That's a first. I know why, because, oh shit. Ooh, I'm on a hill. Turn around.
around. All right, where are you, phone? Damn it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Please do not be broken. Well, looks somewhat promising. <laughs> you survived! <laughs> oh man. Well, that's first. Now I have all the goods. Let's complete the end of the ride here. Jeez, Whitney. <laughs> I went out for a walk with the kiddos and they dared me, well they challenged me I should say, not really dared me, challenged me to run the rest of the walk that we were doing. And so I took off, the phone was in the cup holder of the jogger, and as I took off and hit a bump, my phone flew out, cracked the front part of my screen, and I had to get a new screen. So this was like, I don't know, middle of COVID. So like March, April, I think it was April time frame. But thank God I did not have to do that again. Okay, I think this is the end of it. And it's probably not gonna tell me that it is. So, I'm gonna sign off for now. Thank you guys so much for, oh, if I can get myself in neutral, that'd be great, and fog it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching this rustic road with me. I have a blast doing these, clearly, even if I drop my phone. Um, but I will see you guys on the next run. Ride safe and have fun. Thanks, guys.